So, here a square ABCD is given. So, AEF is an equilateral triangle uh, given AB is equal to L, then find the side length of this equilateral triangle. So, the side length of equilateral triangle is let us say A. So, A is same for all. So, how do we solve this further? So, if I want to solve this, if I use coordinate system, it will be easily solvable. So, what we do is we will consider the vertex A as 0 comma 0, the vertex A as 0 comma 0. So, let us say I will assume A B is along x axis. So, it will be L comma 0, D will be 0 comma L. So, C anyway L comma L. So, if I want to solve this, so what I will consider this height as H 1. So, L comma H 1. So, this height is L. So, this is this length we will call it as H 2, H 2 comma L. So, this is A, this is A, this is A. So, now we use length of the side as A. So, for this uh, let us say this is E no, this is F. So, A e is equal to A. So, it means L minus 0 H square plus H 1 minus 0 whole square is equal to A square. So, L square plus H 1 square is equal to A square, this is 1 and then A f is equal to A. So, it means H 2 minus 0 whole square plus L minus 0 whole square is equal to A square. So, L square plus H 2 square is equal to A square. So, this is 2. So, again E f is equal to A. So, it means L minus H 2 whole square L minus H 1 whole square is equal to A square. So, this is 3. So, from 1 and 2. So, from 1 and 2, so let us say if I subtract 1 and 2, L square L square will cancel A square A square. So, H, H 1 square minus H 2 square is equal to 0. So, it means H 1 is equal to H 2. So, substitute H 1 equal to H 2 in 3. So, substitute H 1 equal to H 2 in 3. So, we will get L minus H 1 whole square plus L minus H 1 whole square is equal to A square. So, 2 into L minus H 1 whole square is equal to A square. So, L minus H 1 whole square is equal to A square by 2. So, again we have I mean let us say expand this L square plus H 1 square minus 2 L H 1 is equal to A square by 2. So, L square plus H 1 square is A square again. So, if I write this A square minus 2 L H 1 is equal to A square by 2. So, L 2 L H is equal to A square by 2 L H 1 I mean. So, L H 1 is equal to A square by 4. So, I have L H 1 A square by 4. So, so L square plus H 1 square is A square right. So, H 1 if I replace here I can find directly a relation between L and H. So, L and A directly. So, H 1 is equal to A square by 4 L. So, substitute in 1. So, L square plus A square by 4 L whole square is equal to A square. So, now this is a quadratic I mean bi quadratic in A square. So, solve we will get the relation between the side length A and L directly. So, now if I see this L power 4 uh, plus A power 4 by 16 is equal to 
L square A square. So, L square minus L power 4 minus L square A square plus A power 4 by 16 is equal to 0. So, find roots of this in. So, if I this is a quadratic equation, if I solve this quadratic equation, so by solving the quadratic, we will get A in terms of L directly. So, I will try to rearrange this equation. So, if I try to rearrange this equation, L square minus A by 2 whole square. Yes or no? That's right. So, L square minus A by 2 whole square. So, L square minus A square by 2 whole square. So, if I rearrange it, I will directly get. So, L square minus A square by 2 whole square is equal to A power 4 by 4 minus A power 4 by 16. So, we are solving it here. So, this is 3 A power 4 by 16. So, L square is equal to A square by 2 plus or minus root 3 by 4 A square. So, but if you see here, A is greater than L for sure. So, whatever value we are going to see here. So, let us say if I consider L square is equal to A square by 2 plus root 3 by 4 A square. So, if I consider this. So, L square is equal to A square into 2 plus root 3 by 4. So, A square is equal to 4 by 2 plus root 3 into L square. So, this is fine and 2 plus root 3 is ok, this is fine and then if I consider the other value what will happen. So, L square is equal to 2 minus root 3 by 4 A square. So, A square is equal to 4 L square by 2 minus root 3. Okay. So, for this we will get we cannot accept this. Why? Because see the problem here is A cannot be greater than root 2 L. A cannot be greater than root 2 L because A is the side length of this triangle. So, this side length is not greater than the diagonal length. So, as it is not greater than root 2 L, but if you see here this is greater than root 2 L. 4 into 2 plus root 3 is a value which is greater than I mean 8 L square right. So, 4 into 2 plus root 3. So, 8 plus 4 root 3 into L square. So, which is greater than 2 root I mean root 2 L. So, this value is not acceptable here. So, this value is only acceptable here. So, A square is equal to 4 by 2 plus root 3 l square. So, this is the required the side length in terms of the length of the triangle I mean length of the square 